Hello and welcome to the continued captain's mode of Gamers University taking on Rat for the finals for the Ghost of Cup Americas, the third edition and we have got ourselves the best out of three. This is game number one and we are having a bit of a remake which is why you already see all these heroes there because they knew exactly what they wanted to pick and they picked it lightning fast. So we're gonna have Bad Rider, Nyx Assassin, Keeper of Light as well as Magnus being bad out. Gamers University picked up the Dark Seer and the Shadow Demon after the first pick from Red came for the Wisp. And now Queen of Pain and Chaos Knight picked up by the Radiant side as well. So we have got ourselves the Wisp CK combination, Queen of Pain in the mid lane. And Gamers University deciding what they want to pick up next. So these teams... They are playing for, of course, in the finals for America's Cup, so they're playing for the honor of having the first prize and the first place for the championship. They can call them the champion of Ghost Cup Americas, but they're also playing for $500 because that's the one uh, prize that the first prize is going to get. Second prize is $300, still not bad, of course, but you, of course, want to have that number one prize. Um, we see Alina being picked up, and I said it in the previous game, I would like to see Alina picked up, because I like Lina. And it's great to have together with the Shadow Demon as well. We saw it in the previous game, um, as in, I explained it in the previous game, because we didn't see Lina. But there is, of course, the Shadow Demon disruption, followed up by a Light Strike Array from Alina to have a solid stun there, as well as a lot of burst damage coming out, especially if there's a Soul Catcher on there. But let's see, uh, I, I'm, like, it's, it's pretty difficult to be Alina in a game where there's a Chaos Knight and a Wisp and a Queen of Pain. I mean, she is not the most survivable hero. So I'm quite curious to see how that's gonna go. And that kind of means that there's gonna be Shadow Demon probably having to disrupt Alina quite a lot. Depending on how the positioning is, of course, because that's really important in Five games like these. Remaining. We have got ourselves an Undying being banned out as well as a Life Stealer. And, I mean, we can kind of assume that Queen of Pain is mid and Wisp and CK is on the safe lane. Expecting not to be having that on an aggressive trial lane, though, depending on what their support they're going to be picking up. We still have a Rubik in the pool, by the way. Could be picked up still by the Radiant side. Dire side doesn't need more supports. They need carries. And that's exactly what we see Rat banning out. It's very easy to ban stuff out against Games University because you know they still need a mid lane. And you kind of got that sorted because Queen of Pain is a hero that can basically stand up against any other mid lane hero in the game. She might not be able to win her lane all the time, but she will be able to still be doing a good job and at least making sure so that she doesn't lose it. So, they don't really have to ban, ban out stuff for that. So they have to ban out stuff that they don't want to be dealing with on an aggressive or just a trial lane with a Shadow Demon and Alina there. So they're banning out the Lifesteal, they're banning out the Weaver, as we've seen Weaver on an aggressive trial lane before today, which is which was Ten quite a, quite remaining. effective, actually, I believe that it was. I, should, I can't remember, but Five it was a weaver. Seconds. And a Brewmaster now also out. Brewmaster together with the Shadow Demon, of course. Disruption there, Brewmaster walks up, claps. A lot of damage going through. And, in theory, Brewmaster could also be versus the Queen of Pain in the mid lane. And Enchantress and the Chen being banned out by Gamer University. We expect Wisp and CK to be with a dual lane. And just want to rule out some of the support heroes that are still there. But they're gonna pick up a Bane again for the fourth time today. We see a ban, and we've seen some very successful bans, Banes in this game. <laughs> in these games today. Uh, oh, yeah, small warning. It is quite late where I am right now, and I have had a quite a busy day because I painted the bathroom, I painted a, a toilet, I painted other stuff, and I moved some other stuff. So, you know, I've been quite busy, so I might be quite tired, and I might have some Ten effect on my focus. Remaining. But I will tell you that if you don't want to listen to me, that are, there are Five other options. I do believe there is a... Um, a um, Spanish cast for this as well on uh, Twitch TV, so you can check it out there. I, be, I mean, I believe it's Severus Dota, not sure. Uh, we also have the Iron Branch casting, who's casting in English, so you can check it out there as well if you want. And of course, if you want to have a list of all the casts, you can go to ghostgames.net slash Dota 2, and uh, there's a list on the front page, so you can check it out there. Uh, you can also find the brackets there, by the way, if you want to know what these teams have done to get to this point where they are right now, because there have been some impressive teams there that have been beating by these. We'll see uh, which one uh, had the harder road, though. Does it does it make sense? I hope it does. 
or if someone had an easy road here and the other one didn't, then we will see a very one-sided game. I don't think it's gonna be one-sided game, so I mean we've seen both of these teams plays before. Ah, Garocopters! I like it. Garocopter together with the Shadow Demon and Alina works out great. We saw it earlier today as well. Though, 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 the Garocopter that we saw actually played a uh, solo safe lane and then they had a trial lane with the Shadow Demon and Alina and a, and a Weaver, so... I mean, not with the Lena, but we were still with the Shadow Demon, but at least not with the Lena. But it was a Nyx Assassin, I believe. But still, it could be a Garocopter still safe solo top with a Lena and a Shadow Demon remaining. together with a tri lane with something else that hasn't been picked up just yet. Five and then Darkseer remaining. in the mid lane. Garocopter could be in the mid lane, of course, as well. I mean, there's a lot of options there. Reserve time. And we've seen it all before. Let's see, one minute left for Rat to pick up their last hero. I mean, they've got themselves a tri lane, they've got themselves a Queen of Pain solo mid, so they need an off lane. Well, they're still Beastmaster, still Windrunner, so there's plenty of, uh, plenty of, uh, of opportunities for them. There's even still a Puck in the game, which is a hero that we've seen banned out quite a lot today. Never picked up, just banned out. I speak for and it's a Nature's Prophet, so that is gonna be an offlane Nature's Prophet most likely. In theory, he could be going into the jungle having Bane mid and then a dual lane with a Wisp and a Chaos Knight. But I do think we're gonna see a Nature's Prophet uh, on the offlane. We'll be finding out soon though. Maybe they just wanna leave that trial lane alone because they don't think they can do something against it, perhaps? Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Last pick coming up for Games University. Reserve time. And we'll define how they're gonna run their lanes. Personally, I hope they're gonna have a aggressive tri lane with a Garocopter, Shadow Demon, and Alina. But we have seen Garocopter on the so safe lane solo also dominating his lane, so they might be trying to do that again. But let's hope it's not gonna be the case, though. I really hope it's gonna be an aggressive trial with the Garocopter, but if not, we might have an aggressive trial oh, with the Slardar. I know, it makes no sense, but it would be fun. I have to click something away, because I see something constantly refreshing, and that's probably gonna throttle my computer at some point. Well, not my computer, my connection, maybe. I don't know. Shadow Fiend! So that will be their mid lane. That will mean that... or sh yeah, I think it's gonna be their mid lane, or their safe solo lane. Or their trial lane hero. Oh, they have so many options. Unreal how many options they have. Let me switch uh, overlay so you can see the entire game. And not just part of it. If you want to see the entire game. Boom! There you have it. And uh, yeah, for the people just tuning in, this is indeed the best out of three. This is game number one for the first place of Ghost of Cup Americas. Game of University taking on Rat. Rat that doesn't have their team Ten profile set, or they don't. They said they have still got someone wor working on the flag, so they don't have a team profile just yet. Prepare but let's see who is going to be playing what. We have Mihawk on his darks here once again. Masoku will be playing the Lena. I will be playing the Shadow Fiend with Smash on the Garrocopter. And last but not least, it is. Uh, Mystico playing the Shadow Demon, closing the line, and this will mean that we're probably gonna see Ivo on the tri lane, Smash in the mid lane, and um, Darkseer on the um, solo lane, long lane, or or um, or short lane. Could be both, could be either. Well, can't, can't be both, of course, you can't do both things at the same time. But uh, if it's gonna be an aggressive trial, I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out. We have got, in the meantime, on the other side, it will be Rat. It will be Sifla on the Chaos Knight. We'll be seeing a Boogie on the Wisp. It will be JRX playing his Bane once again. Now, we've seen his Bane play, and he was dominating. At some point, there was like seven kills in the entire game, and he, he was in all seven, and he was like 5-0-2 or something like that. Now, of course, Bane is a hero that you can kill still with quite easily with uh, the Brain Sap, but still. We're gonna have Lapis playing his Queen of Pain in the mid lane and on the top lane. It will indeed be Spin playing the Nature's Prophet. What does he have on his head? Metal horns. It looks a bit off. The battle begins. Huh. Looks up. Okay. So, 
Let's see, aggressive triangle looks like it, and Lee indeed gonna be smash on the middle lane with Imo actually going solo top. That means that we're gonna have a darks here on an aggressive tri lane. This is pretty nice, actually. You have got the sh the, uh, the, sh the disruption. Darks here can walk towards the target. Iron shells too, if if possible. Two iron shells up on there. With uh, Lena Stone following up, more iron shells it could work out. Curious to see if it's gonna work out though, and who's gonna be the target first? Because Wisp can tether himself away, and Nightmare is there to make sure everybody is safe in case. I mean, Night a Bane. I I've been told uh, a long time ago actually uh, that um, at, at that point in the, in the game, that was actually that was that was like more than half a year ago. Uh, the saying was, you pick up Bane if Shadow Demon is banned out. Because it plays a kind, of, kind of the same role as C. There goes the stun, there goes the Iron Shell. Thetter is there, though, and they will be able to get away. Nightmare there. That's 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 the that's the one that we're gonna see. Initiation was there. Look at the HP. Almost still full. And he's gonna eat a Tangle. It's gonna be just fine. And he actually picked up Critical Strike as a first. And I do think that might have been a bit m of a misclick. It's not something that you see all that often. You kind of want to have that stun. But let's see what he's gonna do with the rest of... Uh, of his points, if that was a misclick or not. In the meantime, we have got ourselves a uh, rocket barrage. No, not yet. Actually, didn't pick up rocket barrage. Picked up a flat cannon. Flat cannon is a, is an ability that is very annoying. Very annoying, and that is gonna be. Um, oh, and now rocket barrage still. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let's see if they can do something here. Wisp coming in, harassing them away. Disruption there. There goes the Light Strike Array as well as the Iron Shell. Are they going to be able to help the Bane? Here comes Sifla as well. Want to go for the Darks here, but there is just a Reality Rift in. No stun just yet. They need that stun. Wisp still trying to get the Bane. In the meantime, it is uh, the Surge away from the Darks here that's going to be able to do that. Another stun lands on the Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight trying to turn himself out, but will with the first blood. Shadow even picking it up. And the Thetter away breaks. And they still try to get the Wisp. Might be able to do that as well. There goes another disruption. No more mana left on the Lina though, but it might not be needed because the Iron Shells are there and that is still Lina picking up the kill. Time and Bane, the, the only one alive from that trial lane. No mana for him. Still level 1. And Chaos Knight picking up his Reality Rift. No stun for him. Might have saved his life. Might have. Could have. Could have, really should have. Lina killed by a neutral. Uh, most likely intentional, by the way. Just making sure that she doesn't have to walk all the way back and then come back again with full HP amount. Otherwise, she would be at a too big of a disadvantage. In the meantime, mid lane, it is another home missile that lands. It is Garakopter that's 10 for 2, Lapis 9 for 6. Even on last hits, but it looks like the harassment comes out mostly from the Garakopter. As we take a look at the mid top lane for the for a second, we have Iwo being on 11 for 1 with Nature's Prophet being on 8 for 9. A lot of the nice coming off from spin there, but I mean, nobody is gonna die here for now. I mean, they should both be okay with getting the, these last hits going and, and just denying and, and last hitting as they please. Although, of course, Nature's Prophet has to be careful not to feed too much of his own trions towards the Shadow Fiend. And of course, we also have to remember that the last hits that, that, that uh, Iwo gets, the trions actually give a bit less gold. So if he does get some Trayons there, his Darkseer will just make sure that every last hit is his. No creep skipping, no, no creep uh, denying. Forcing Chaos Knight to last hit under his tower, not ideal at all. Let's see if they can go again. We do have Lina being uh, forced to go top to check out the rune, but it was actually, or, or it was actually top the rune, but forced to go bottom rune, but it wasn't there. It was top. We're gonna see if they're gonna try to set up once again. Just a disruption to, it is needed to get it all done. Bane, maybe from the side, might be a good target. So, so far, they've already Radiant's done very good in this lane regardless. As Queen of Pain is actually forced back towards base. Doesn't want to stick their round there anymore. I mean, w one home and miss out. And this flat cannon. I started saying it earlier, but then... I don't know, something happened or something? But the flat cannon is a great ability to harass with. You can Radiant's just last hit and it hits everywhere. Attack. You can't really stand around in experience range and expect no. to, uh, to not get hit. Unless you're not in uh, not in sight, but that's just uh, I mean it's, it's just really annoying to deal with. So we have got Chaos Knight still level four, 19 for zero is doing okay on last hits. 21 for two on the darks here though. Nightmare setting up the darks here. 
There's a disruption to help save his life. Here comes Speed of Pain. They want to go for Miyok. We'll be able to do that. That's a stun. That's a two second stun. And that's going to be a kill. Quick kill. A nice, uh, nice excursion from Lapis. I mean, they knew that he was forced back in the mid lane. Smash knew that he was missing, but he was expecting him to come back. So that was a bit of a surprise. A kill that they desperately needed, too. By the way, the two kills that you see here are, of course, one of the kills is one on the Lina that they didn't get, because that was a deny. So just keep that in mind. That that's actually still one for two. In favor of Gamers University Peru. There goes the Rock of Barrage. Queen of Pain needs to blink, we'll be able to. That harassment is just insane. Flak cannon activated, but he can't do anything with it because there's no creeps. Now there's creeps. Shadow Strike hits. There is mana. They just probably open bouncing around. Doesn't get him anymore though. In the meantime, Lena does go down. They just probably open helping with him as well. And it looks like Shadow Demon might be the next target. Needs to eat his way through. It's the wrong tree. Goes down still. It will be Mihawk that will be dropping there as well. And this is a clean wipe for the tri lane. Aggressive tri lane team wipe. Tree, tree lane wipe. I don't know how to say that. There's enough mana up again for the Chaos Knight to land a reality rift, but uh, Lena was away in time. She was, of course, the one that died first there. And this time, not even the Queen of Pain helping, because Queen of Pain helping to take care of the Shadow Fiend on the sorry, top lane. Nature's Prophet helping out. But that's still a kill going the way of another kill, actually, going the way of Rat. We're proving to be uh, not as helpless as, as they started out. The start of the game. Yeah, I've got the gold graph back to zero. Experience graph though, showing a bit of a different line. Going in favor of Rat. No real surprise, as I said the entire night already. Late Kills that happen later give more experience than kills that happen earlier on in the game. So it will just be continue to be drastical, more drastical changes uh, that the whole time the game goes on. Until people reach level 25, of course. Gyrocopter, what are you doing there? <laughs> Goes down. Still gets a homing missile on the face. I'm kind of expecting to see some action here on this bottom lane still, because, I mean, you just had an aggressive trail and being wiped out. You need to get some repercussions there. You need to get something going, because otherwise your aggressive trail lane doesn't work out at all. And of course, I didn't know that there was no support there, but now there is again. It wasn't before, though. Let's see if we can get something done with this. Or is that if the Thetter is enough to make sure that they're Dyer's not going to go for that Chaos Knight. Under attack. In the meantime, Queen of Pain, even though having a tough time mid to begin with, she definitely picked up her stride and made sure she got two kills. Spinning three kills so far in total. And Pain now TPing back as well, going to go in from the side, going to be starting off things off with a Nightmare. They want to go for this. The aggressive trailing coming up from Game Machine University is the one that is getting aggressed on. Here comes Spin as well. Sprout up. Lena Stone hitting on the Nature's Property. Will be Miyok that is already going down. Or is he? Iron Shell still trying to do what he can, but will go down. Rocket Barrage coming in. Smash! Cooldown as well. Bane will go down. Three seconds out of the chaos. And we have a disconnect. Or pause. Why pause? What? 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 Never lag. Never lag. Makes no sense. Oh, awkward. So we have got also Ivo coming in, everybody coming in on the side of Gamers University. There's already two down on the side of Rat, and there is actually Queen of Pain who is not here, doesn't have a TP, so won't be able to be here either. So these two are the only one left alive. We're gonna see them still trying to take down Shadow Demon. He will be able to do that. Let's see if they can get the Wisp as well. They can. Triple kill go on the way of Smash. They get everybody here. They lose two, but that's worthy, uh, a worthy trade. And I will can get some free farm on this bottom lane. As Queen of Pain is dead. Well, I tried to snipe off some people from the side, but won't be able to do that anymore. We don't have any wards up apart from this one, by the way. No Dyer's wards. I don't know where Queen of Pain Radiant's is right now. They have to be careful. Under attack. At least you would say that if you knew that they were, or you would think that they were close. Ooh. Or Queen of Pain has to be careful herself. As long as she, if she keeps running, this is going to be painful unless she can blink away from it. Nope, gonna be fine. Just a rock of a rise level one. If it was higher level, that would have been more painful. I'm just gonna drink some water. Because I shouted a bit too much just now. Radiant structures are fortified. So, all of a sudden, tables turn around again on the bottom lane. It just keeps going back and forth. Same good thing goes for the experience graph. No real surprises there, as we do have Nature's Prophet. 
If he's going for a hand of Midas, it will be a pretty late one. Hey, TP's. <laughs> he TP's to the tier, tier, tier 1. Tier, yeah, tier 1. Doesn't want to be getting called out there by a gank. Of course, Shadow Demon wasn't in place just yet, but he has the right mind to it, to be fair. Lean in the meantime, level 5, no Laguna Blade just yet. Probably wants to have it just to be able to help him with some Nuka Gym fights. Especially Nuka up on the Wisp, as long as he doesn't have his overcharge there. And as long as Rage Tether ever. The drums are gonna be uh, the item Chaos Knight is gonna go for. In the meantime, Smash back in the mid lane, back towards his duty of harassing. Look at those flat cannon and hits already doing a lot of damage. And a homing missile helping out as well. And Chaos Knight now free farming. They've left Mihawk alone. I mean, they can just do this. Normally, a Dark Seer is by himself anyway, and they can just continue to do that again. And they're gonna try to maybe roam around trying to get some kills. They have Shadow Demon pulling the top lane. Getting some experience there. We have Mosaku, Masoku, sorry, playing in the mid lane. Still waiting for that level 6. Queen of Pain still around there. Doesn't want to be really getting in range. I mean, one home and missile might be the end of it. As actually, Wiz picking up the Darkseer. Still Darkseer. I mean, Darkseer is normally by himself on the, so on the safe lane because he doesn't die and he can get himself out. But that's, I mean, you actually have to not die to be able to make that statement true. And, and Darkseid just died, something he didn't, shouldn't be doing. They're coming in to, no, they're coming in for Smash. Smash will go down. All of a sudden, four heroes in the middle lane. I mean, map control is the name of the game here. This is a TP, they just profited with TPing with the CK. In the meantime, the Nai on the tier one tower top though. In the meantime, also Wisp going down. Lina, not using her Laguna Blade, still getting the kill. Mihawk, of course, helping out. Radiance they were TP back towards. I mean, they were fighting here and then they were instantly TP towards the middle lane, so they didn't really uh, think that through, I guess. But still getting a wisp in return of a Gyrocopter is worth it. See if they can do something here. We have three of tin, gonna hit an Iwo. There's still a demonic purse, though. Two seconds stun still up on Iwo, but he's gonna pop his ulti. They're gonna try to go for the. For the Chaos Knight, he should be fine though, with that Shadow Poison not doing that much damage anymore. Can they get another one? Shadow Poison not doing enough and uh, again. And there's gonna be a Feather, Shadow Strike up on the Shadow Demon, he will be dropping for sure. At least Ivo was able to get himself out of there, just like uh, just like the Chaos Knight. The tower stays alive as well as uh, the, uh, the Garacopter tries to push down some on the tier 1 middles. And we have ourselves a gank for GRX, and there is the Laguna Blade, and that's exactly what he wants to use. Boom! That's a Fiend's Grip helping out, and a Nightmare, but he still goes down. <laughs> nice one there. Taking a lot of damage for Alina might actually be the result of a, of a gank for the TP, if he can get him. In the meantime, Queen of Pain blinking herself away from a... Uh, booming missile, but Nature Prophet is actually not going to be trying to TP towards uh, the Queen of Pain, towards Selena. Would have been a clean kill, I believe, but a bit too risky to TP into uh, enemy territory without any vision there. We're going to sell Shadow Fiend continuing to farm. Let's, by the way, let's put up the net worth because that's a bit more interesting than anything else. And it's actually Iwo that's highest on top of there, considering that he has not been in... Uh, he's only been in one of the eight kills so far. There's really not that much. And he's died once. He is still highest on top of net worth, even higher than the Chaos Knight. Chaos Knight, who has been in eight kills out of the twelve, has only died twice, only once more. And then the... Um, and then the Shadow Fiend. But it's still not as high. It's, during, it's, it's almost there though, I mean, the, the difference is not that big. It's just last hits that is the major difference here, and of course the tower. Uh, no, there's no tower, what am I saying? It was a deny that he, that he got, but the, the last hits make a big difference here. As we do have a smoke gang coming up, Garacopter, Shadow Demon, and Alina going towards the bottom lane. Don't want to be walking past that sentry right there, so just gonna come from the front. It's gonna be Darkseer that's gonna pretend to be here all by himself. Gonna maybe force out initiation, but there's also people coming in with help for uh, for Rat, and they have four on this bottom lane also. The smoking gonna go to the side. Disruption needed to start it all off. There they go. They now realize it, and bam, Ward reveals it all. And they now realize the Nature's Prophet Ultimate bounces through. Okay, they guys, they got vision. 
So they back off. Failed smoke for game two to firstly Peru. In the meantime, top lane is gonna get pushed. I mean, that's gonna be happening a lot more. He did pick up his Anamida still, by the way. But Spin is gonna be here to split push the, this stuff. And it's gonna be really successful. So, I mean, he can be everywhere, and there's not really that much that Cambridge University can do against it unless they let Garakov to pick up an Agonims. That would actually help out a lot. Then he can pop his cooldown cool down everywhere as we have a Fiend's Grip up on the darks here. Reality Drifting also, Mihawk going down. No, Disruption helping to save his, li save his life for now. Goes down still though. Aisha up on there as the sun hits. Two seconds, doesn't matter as Wisp goes down as well. Garakov to picking him up. Chaos Knight running away. Oh, and then Courier actually taking some damage there as well, but he will be able to be safe in the meantime. Shadow Fiend almost got his BKB. 300 gold to go. And when he has that, you might see him a bit more active in fights. As Garakov are gonna probably go for BKB as well. Drums are completed up on the Chaos Knight. Maybe going for a Helm of the Dominators. Next. Bane coming up, gonna come in from the side. So be careful, Nightmare up on the Shadow Demon. Home and Missile still hits though, are they gonna go for this? Nature's probably coming in, Courier flying through, Laguna Blade, that's Nature's probably already going down! Sonic Wave hitting, cooldown coming as well, hits on two! And that's gonna be Smash dropping as... Still trying to do as much as he can, but he can't get the Wisp anymore. Queen of Pain blinking forward, wants to go for the Lina. Lina, I'm not sure what she's trying. They didn't see her, they didn't see her! Oh! Oh wow, how does that work? Queen of Pain still picks up the darks here. We saw her TPing up, but the the, the the brain sap that happened, it went all over the map and it actually killed her off there. But they didn't see her hide. Nice juke though, nice attempt to juke I should say. It didn't really work out. In the end. Radiance top tower is under attack. Gonna be a tower Diamond's going down tower. here as a result from those Radiant's kills. I mean, they just got themselves four kills, Dyer's I believe. With the experience graph showing a big steep, uh, steep up in favor of Rat, we have the uh, gold graph, same story. Going towards 5k for the experience graph and towards the 2k for the gold graph. Tower will now drop and den or deny it anyway. That's the second tower, tower that gets denied, by the way. Denied. This middle tower is the only one that actually dropped. And they already got this one. So, so far, towers are basically even in a way. I mean, you still got some gold if the towers get denied, but it is, um, yeah, quite good for a game university to have those towers denied rather than get them picked up. It's, I mean, it's tier one towers, it's quite a lot of gold that, that you deny those supports to get up their core items. It's pretty important. In theory, that's the only source of income that they have. Sifla in the meantime having his armlet complete. So we have Darks here still building towards his mechanism and again Nature's Prophet just continuing pushing. He's of course also going for his mechanism. So he just needs the recipe for that. In the meantime we have got ourselves another smoke gank going towards the middle lane. Seeing if they can get the Queen of Pain or JRX. Disruption on the Queen of Pain. There goes the Soul Catcher and Queen of Pain no blink for him. And still goes down Garacopter getting the last hit for that one. Can they get another one? They can't actually lean on the sidelines there. Chaos Knight picking him off. Chaos Knight a whiff coming in. There goes Chaos Knight though. He is in trouble. He's being chased down by the homing missile. And that's gonna be him getting away from that one. Fiend's grip in the meantime on the Shadow Fiend. He is gonna be going down to the Queen of Pain. Street scream smash. Gonna be hit up by the Wisp Spirit. Homing or Rock of Barrage still going down though. He might be able to get a kill. No, he goes down instead. Luffy is getting a double kill for that one. That is an initiation that was not really ideal. And the home missile is still hitting the Chaos Knight, but he was able to be safe. In the meantime, Le is able to get a triple kill, <laughs> killing up the Shadow Demon that was still hiding around there. And that is actually four heroes dead for the price of a Queen of Pain that afterwards got a triple kill. So I don't think she's going to be that sad about that happening. Of course, it all started with a Lina. You always have to be wary about that with TP with the CK. I mean, they've, they've TP'd a couple of times. They haven't really done it to to initiate though, they have mostly done it to help out teammates or more importantly to defend and that's something that Gamers University, yeah they get ganks and they catch out people and they kill them but then you've got three people that can just be at that location in only a matter of seconds, it's gonna be Lina who's gonna be in a lot of trouble, the good place still hits on the Queen of Pain though, he blinks away, homie missile still gonna chase, can they get it, no surge available and Queen of Pain will be fine. That's, amount, that's not gonna be the amount of damage that a uh, homie missile is gonna do, we're still gonna see it though, I mean they're still flying somewhere. Okay, sorry. 
Roshan gonna be the one for Gamers University. Let's see if they can do that. They picked up all the tier ones. And they just want to get some uh, some extra buff before they go on to the tier 2s. I don't blame them because it's not really going flawless for them. I mean, they keep trading kills that are not in favor of them and take a lot of damage from it. I mean, the only good thing so far is that they have got those denies on the towers. And their trial and actually was okay at some point. But they gotta go for this. It looks like uh, we're seeing Red trying to compete for this smash though in trouble. Two seconds time, Riyad Triftin gets put into the trap to save his life as the cooldown comes down. Sivla now in trouble, here comes the Rocket Barrage, Riyad Triftin again though, Smash still alive for now, has to back off. It will be Chaos Net that goes down, BKB activated on Ivo, has to be careful. Wisp, gonna stay, still take some damage from the Dragon Slave. And they're backing off, Garrocopter still being alive is all they really wanted. And the buyback came from the CK, as, of course, as well. And they don't want to be making the same mistake as earlier, where they killed off one, that one bought back, and then ended up killing off everybody. Which was really not that great. Is now the Radiant gonna go for Roshan? Looks like that is indeed gonna be the case. Same time, the cooldown is gonna be up again soon, and he has got a TP to come back, and he will do so. They want to fight this. They don't have a Dark Sea roll just yet, though. There's a Nightmare up on the darks here. Nightmare being taken over by the Shadow Demon. Sprout up hits on two and of course make sure that nobody can get away. So vacuum doesn't hit anything. Roshan goes down. Aegis getting picked up. That's Darkseer already going down. Smash! Gonna be the next one to go down or does he? Coldown still comes down trying to get himself out. Fiend's gripping to meet them up. The Shadow Fiend, Queen of Pain, blinking up the high ground. He gets a kill on Smash with the Scream. And might be able to get another one. Chaos Knight actually picks up Iowa and now Masoku is getting himself out. Won't be able to do so. Double kill for Lapis and that is also the kill on the Shadow Demon. In the meantime, well, that was just an armlet toggle. That is everybody going down outside of Gamers University. They just dropped their entire team. Didn't get the Aegis. Didn't get the Roshan. And looks to be lo losing a tier 2 tower as well because I don't think they're going to be having any means to defend this. And that's Sprout basically doing all the work for them. Dyer's and that is just a quick TP to base to make sure that they can come back with full HP and mana. It was very handy. Shadow Demon. I'm not sure if you should be here. Nightmare. Gonna start things off. And there goes the stun. Three seconds. Very dead. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And that was still the prize that they got from the team team wipe. And the Shadow Demon was should not have been there, should have given that away. Then again, maybe he thought that there were not no longer a CK there. I mean if you're gonna look at these this game in pure team fight potential, it's actually Gamers University that should be very high up on there. I mean, they've got themselves a Wrecking of Souls, they've got the cooldown, they've got Lean and Light Strike Array, they've got a Vacuum and the Dark Seer Wall. I mean, in theory, it's pretty good, going pretty good for them if, in terms of the team fight, but they just keep getting caught out. And that Wisp CK, they just keep focusing everybody down, and then there's no coordination, and they just end up dying. And they're gonna smoke up. Perhaps, or just sticking around, seeing if someone comes for them. Smoke up is actually on the other side right now. And they're gonna find one. Four seconds down. Shadow Demon already going down again. Laguna Blade still going off on the Chaos Knight. Hoping this is gonna come in also. And he is gonna be just fine. Mechanism being used. Sprout hitting up on the Darks here. There goes the Fiend's Grip up on the Lina. Lina going down. Sonic Wave hitting from the sideline. And that's the Darks here going down as well. Now cold down. Coming down, but smash! Gonna get smashed! Oh my god, I never made that pun before. And this is the last one alive on the side of Gamers University. Yeah, that was almost another team wipe in favor of Rat. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. GG go next is the call from Gamers University. They don't want to be in this game anymore. They want to keep their spirits high. This is of course the best out of three to decide which one of these two teams is going to take home $500 for the Go to Cup America's number three. And we will see which one of these two teams will be taking it. Rat or Games University. My name is Shiver, by the way. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my YouTube, youtube.com slash Shiver Gaming, or my Twitter, twitter.com slash Shiver Gaming, or my Facebook, facebook.com slash Shiver Gaming, or my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Shiver Gaming. I know, I'm original with names, it's great. Um, but yeah, you can follow me and subscribe to me on Twitch also, or 
one of the other or neither and then just don't turn on turn on and block or something. I don't know. It all helps out. Anyway, stick around for another game coming up between Gamers University and a rat. So yeah, don't go anywhere basically because we want to see if Gamers University can pull back from this because they were, I mean, they, they started out so good and the thought was there. It's just they, the control wasn't, wasn't there. Anyway, don't go anywhere. Stick around.